Hockey, the world's oldest sport. Invented in 2019 by Canadian scientists, they quickly realized that this was the biggest contribution Canada would ever have on the world. So they took their time machine back to January 26, 1961, and handed a hockey puck to the brand new baby boy named Wayne Gretzky. And the rest is history. Today, we're going to talk about the unspoken universal rule, the code. In hockey, there's a lot of rules. Icing. Offside. The goalie can't go into that little trapezoid area in the corner, unless it's international play, because then they can just go wherever. But one that people often talk about, but isn't in the official rulebook, is simply called the code. I went undercover as a large defenseman with a penchant for fighting in an online hockey league to learn about the code firsthand. Here are my findings. Rule number one. Empty celebration. If you score on an empty net, don't showboat. Just go back to the center and let's drop the puck again. Unless you just won the cup, then have at it. Rule number two. Ice division. During warm-up, stay on your half of the ice. There's a red line in the middle of the rink, and you should stay on your side of it until the puck drops. Otherwise, there will most likely be a fight. Rule three. Protect the goalie. If someone shoots on your goalie after a whistle, beat them up. If someone skates into your goalie, hits them with your stick, or harasses them in any way, beat them up. This includes spraying snow in their face with your skates. Rule 4. Protect your stars. If someone hits your best player, drop the mitts and beat them up. Gotta protect your assets. Rule number 5. Injuries. If someone on the other team hurts one of your players, beat them up for it. This is called sticking up for your teammates, and it's a big part of the code. Rule 6. Fight in your own weight class. If you're a big guy, don't beat up a little guy. Those who are in the game to fight should fight other fighters. That's just basic respect. Rule number 7. Vampire fighting. Hockey fights are a verbal contract between two players. You don't attack them from behind or suddenly. You agree to fight and then you punch each other. Rule 8. Dress for the occasion. During a fight, remove your gloves, drop your stick, and take off your visor. Bonus points if you take off your entire helmet. What a power move. Rule number nine, turtle time. If you're in a fight, fight. Don't hide away and refuse to throw a punch. There's more honor in getting your nose broken by a big beefy fist than in hiding from the issue at hand. And of course, rule ten, the end of a fight. A fight ends when someone falls down. This isn't ground and pound, it's stand and land. Punches. Winning a fight will give you a big boost to your team and it could dip momentum onto your side. My findings were clear. This was definitely a Canadian thing. Respect and honor are deep-rooted in the very fabric of this sport, and these unwritten rules prove just that. Now that you know when to fight, next time we'll talk about how to fight. Until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.